السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ویلکم ٹو دس ویڈیو لیکچر سیریز اینڈ ٹوڈے آر ٹاپک از آر فیسٹولس فار کلاس تھرڈ سبجیکٹ ایس ایس ٹی آر فیسٹولس ایز یو آل نو وی آل لائک فیسٹولس A festival is a time for fun, joy and celebration. Festival is a time for fun, joy and celebration. And we know that India is land of many religions, so Many festivals are celebrated throughout the year. As you all know that India is land of many religions. So, different festivals are celebrated throughout the year. Some festivals are common to the whole country while others are celebrated only in some states. Some festivals are common to the whole country while others are celebrated only in some states. There are mainly three types of festivals which are celebrated in India and that are national festivals, religious festivals and harvesting festivals. National festivals religious festivals and harvesting festivals these are the festivals which we celebrate talking about national festivals independence day republic day and gandhi jayanti these are the national festivals celebrated throughout the india and every season of india celebrates these festivals independence day it's a national festival it is celebrated on 15th of august every year Independence Day is celebrated on 15th of August. As on 15th of August, India got freedom. So, we celebrate 15th of August as Independence Day. Then, we have another national festival which is Republic Day. It is celebrated on 26th January every year. Republic Day is celebrated on 26 January every year as India became a republic on 26 January 1950 and our constitution came into force on 26 January 1950 India became a republic so on 26 January every year we celebrate republic day and on republic day parade starts from rashtrapati bhavan and ends at red fort then we have another national festival it's called gandhi jayanti as you all know that Mahatma Gandhi is known as the father of nation and his birthday is celebrated as Gandhi Jayanti and it is celebrated on 2nd October which is the birthday of Mahatma Gandhi 2nd October is the birthday of Mahatma Gandhi so we celebrate 2nd October as Gandhi Jayanti
so these were the national festivals independence day republic day and gandhi jayanti after that we have rel okay uh, on gandhi jayanti people visit gandhi ji's samadhi which is known as rajghat gandhi ji's samadhi is known as rajghat and on this day on 2nd october people visit rajghat then we have religious festivals as there are different religions in india so every religion has its own festival which they celebrate there are different festivals like holi raksham bandhan eid gurpurb christmas etc which are religious festivals now starting with diwali dashera holi eid christmas these are all religious festivals now diwali diwali is known as the festival of lights and it's the important festival of hindus diwali it's known as the festival of lights and is an important festival of hindus on this day hindus believe that lord rama returned to home which is ayodhya after the exile of 14 years hindus ka ek bhagwan hai ram bhagwan ram jisko 14 saal ke liye apne ghar se nikala gaya tha aur wo jangal mein rehte the banwas usko diya gaya tha wo 14 saal ke liye jangal mein rehte the aur 14 saal ke baad jab wo ghar wapas aaye तो हिंदूज सेलिब्रेट हिंदूज ने उस दिन को एज दिवाली सेलिब्रेट किया ऑन दिस डे पीपल एक्सचेंज स्वीट्स एंड चिल्ड्रन फायर क्रैकर्स पीपल डेकोरेट देयर हाउसेस विद कैंडल्स एंड दियाज एंड at night people worship goddess lakshmi on this day then the other festival of hindus is dashera dashera is celebrated to mark the victory of good over evil dashera is celebrated to mark the victory of good over evil this festival goes on for 10 days fairs are held at different places during these 10 days and on the 10th day effigies of ravan meghnad and kumbhakarna are burnt इनके पुतले जलाए जाते हैं रावण मेघनाथ एंड कुंभकर्ण इनके पुतले जलाए जाते हैं दस दिन तक ये दशहरा का फेस्टिवल चलता रहता है और दसवें दिन इनके पुतले जलाए जाते हैं और यही दशहरा इस दशहरा को वेस्ट बंगाल में दुर्गा पूजा कहा जाता है Dashera is celebrated as Durga Puja in West Bengal. Then we have Holi. Holi falls in the month of March. It is known as the Festival of Colors. It's known as the Festival of Colors. bonfires are lit on the eve of the festival 
it's known as holika dahan people celebrate holi by throwing colored powder and colored water on each other Holi marks the end of winter season and it's time when the wheat crop is ready for harvesting. After that, we have another festival which is Christmas. Christmas is celebrated by the Christians. and it falls on 25th of december every year 25th of december is celebrated as christmas every year christians celebrate this festival as the birthday of lord jesus The birthday of Lord Jesus Christ is celebrated as Christmas on 25th of December. A special song known as carols are sung during Christmas festivals. Carols are special songs which are sung during the Christmas festivals. Christians buy and decorate the Christmas trees on the eve of Christmas. They bake special cakes and prepare other delicious dishes on the day. And Santa Claus brings gifts for the children. And children eagerly wait for Santa Claus so that they get their gifts from him. Then we have Eid. Eid is the festival of Muslims. It's celebrated at the end of the holy month of Ramadan. People keep fast in the month of Ramadan, and when the new moon is seen, Eid al-Fitr is celebrated. On this day, people offer prayers in the mosques. Muslims celebrate two Eids in a year. First is the Eid al-Fitr. which is celebrated at the month of the Ram, at the end of the holy month of ramadan and the second is eid al adha which is also known as bakr eid people wish eid mubarak to each other and they prepare a special sweet dish called sevia this dish is prepared in every home on the occasion of eid then there is another religious festival which is raksha bandhan it's a festival of the hindus on this day the sisters tie a rakhi on the wrists of their brothers and the brothers 
promised to look after their sisters. Brothers give gifts to their sisters and this festival strengthens the bond between brother and sister. Raksha Pandan is another festival of Hindus. On this day, sisters tie a rakhi on the wrists of their brothers, and in return, their brothers promise them to look after their sisters, and also they give gifts to their sisters. This festival strengthens the bond between brothers and sisters. Then we have Guru Parp. It's the festival of six. It is celebrated to mark the birthdays of the ten Sikh Gurus. Guru Parp is celebrated to mark the birthdays of the ten Sikh Gurus. On this day, the six offer prayer in Gurdwaras. And they also read their holy book, which is the Guru Granth Sahib. Processions are taken out and food is distributed among people on this day. After this religious festivals, we have harvest festivals. First, we saw national festivals, then religious festivals, now harvesting festivals. The harvest festivals are celebrated in our country. Harvest is the time when crops are ready for cutting and gathering. So, it's a time for celebrations as farmers are happy that they have got the fruits of their hard work. That's why these harvest festivals are celebrated. So, we celebrate different harvest festivals in different states of country. Its first is Onam. It's the harvest festival of Kerala. Onam is the harvest festival of Kerala. It is celebrated in August or September. Harvest festival of Kerala celebrated in August or September and boat race is the main attraction of this festival. Then we have Pongal. Pongal is the harvest festival of Tamil Nadu. It falls in the month of January. Harvest festival of Tamil Nadu is Pongal and it falls in the month of January. And on this day, people prepare Pongal or rice mixed with jaggery. Pongal or rice mixed with milk and jaggery is prepared on this festival. After that, we have another harvest festival which is Besakhi. This festival is celebrated all over North India. Besakhi is celebrated all over North India, but especially it is famous in Punjab. It is famous in Punjab. 
it marks the ripening of the wheat crop besaki marks the ripening of the wheat crop and people perform their folk dance called bhangra the people of punjab because besaki is mainly celebrated there the people of punjab perform their folk dance called bhangra on this occasion on the festival of besaki now we we'll look at the summary of the lesson we celebrate many festivals in our country as we know that in the island of many religions so many festivals are celebrated independence day republic day and gandhi jayanti are our national festivals diwali christmas eid are our religious festivals diwali is the festival of lights it is celebrated to rejoice ram's return to ayodhya after 14 years of exile raksha bandhan is a festival of hindus christmas is celebrated on 25th of december the birthday of jesus christ gurpurb is celebrated to mark the birthdays of the 10 sikh gurus eid is an important muslim muslim festival and during this festival people fast actually it's eid is an important muslim festival which is celebrated after the holy month of ramadan besaki festival is celebrated all over north india but it is especially famous in punjab pongal is the harvest festival of tamil nadu so this was all about today's lecture see you in the next lecture